coming together as one. The whole planet, everybody who's creative, from the business world to education to music to movies, whatever you've got creativity in and invested time in as a creative person, it's time to come together as one and get this generation growing forward again. COVID cannot defeat us. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Words come at me all the time. Kusha te akusha was a word that came to me while I was driving on Valentine Commons before it became Valentine Commons. And it's always stuck with me. It's, it's, it's always been a word that I say it and I just feel empowered. It means absolutely nothing. Kusha te akusha. And it's like, well, what does it mean? I don't know. It just feels good when I say it. And so because I'm a daily writer and because I'm always constantly looking words up in the dictionary, because that's just my best friend, the dictionary. This one came to me this morning. Lottigans. L-O-T-T-I-C-A-N-S. Lottigans. It came to me at 5 o'clock this morning while meditating. Lottigans. And, and I kind of grinned about it because I thought, wow, that word comes with a definition. A lottigan is an American who lives off lotteries. Be it Powerball, be it the Mega Million, pick three, pick four, cash five. I even checked dictionary.com. There's, there's no such word as a lottigan. And yet, through meditation this morning, I felt like, wow, I now have a definition for those that spend hundreds or even thousands weekly on the potential or possibility of winning five bucks or 500 million. Lotican. It's not illegal. It might not even be an addiction to gambling. But they seem to always play every day. I, I personally don't have it in me to do that. Um, it's, it's not that I'm a hoarder of cash. I, I just don't want to play the gambling game. But that doesn't mean that I don't have my own vices. Lord knows I am covered with vices. My head and heart are constantly tripping me and bending me and giving me every reason to say, yo, no judgment. Absolutely. Lotican. It's a way of life. They know a system. It's a language. And there have been many times I've looked at them in the eyes and said, hey, look, teach me what you know. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. Been doing this since July of 1994. Whatever is in the presence of your now, put it on paper. Learn from it. Let the words that you feel and experience that don't even belong here become a word that helps define something that you see every day. This is The Daily Mess. Slowly, it's happening. Summer is spinning its identity into the arrival of fall. And it all begins with the color in the leaves, the yellowing in the trees, the number of water catchers that are on the forest floor. Within weeks, we'll start feeling it inside the temperature, a slow ride into winter. Now, in Carolina, we are blessed to have four completely different seasons. And it's not always a pretty picture. I mean, yesterday we dealt with Tropical Storm Fred. I also spoke with Derek and Beverly Jobert, who are two animal explorers living in Africa right now. We spoke about climate change in their section of the world. Oh, they're living it. They have a mission. They're planting their feet there to study the life and style of every animal in Africa. Now, we always hear about the fires here in the United States. And, but I got to tell you, I, I was extremely shocked to hear of the fires and the destruction in Africa. We, we don't get to hear that in the everyday news. Slowly, summer is spinning toward its new identity. And in saying that, I have to ask one question. We as a human race, if it's this hot all over the planet, including Africa, will this one season be something that we will fear in the years ahead? How do you deal with it? Billions of dollars spent to rebuild what happens if the dollars stop and you don't rebuild? The insurance companies say, no, you're in a fire lane. You can't build your mansion there. What happens when the lakes do dry up? I've seen the pictures of, of Hoover Dam from, from 2021 right now. Water at an all-time low. What happens when the human being starts fearing the seasons? There are those that don't believe we have climate change, that this is just all part of the natural process. And I do have to admit that I am that one time student that sat there and thought, wow, it's really interesting here in the third and fourth grade. We're talking about climate change. This was back in the 1970s. But 
what's wrong with getting warmer because I don't want it to be colder. And I, I grew up in the state of Montana. I, I, I know what cold is. I know what 42 below zero is. And so that was my fear as a child that, well, somewhere along the line, it was going to change and go the other direction. But it didn't. It's getting hotter and hotter. How do you prepare for that? Are you beginning to fear summer? I'm Errol. And that's The Daily Mess.